Well, hello everyone. How are you today? It's Sharon here from iRestore Stuff for another Essential Stencil Live. If you happen to be watching the replay, uh, type in the word replay in the comments and you may be a winner of our prize today in the next 24 hours. Hi Joyce, how are you? Thanks so much for watching. Um, we do have three live prize winners to give away at the end of the live today, so stay tuned scrolling through here to see if I can find our live and don't mind me I'm still painting this is this is what we're going to be working on today and if you've seen any of the description of the live can you see the color is this gorgeous Merlot red and have a look what I'm painting it's our wooden mini tags from essential stencil there are still some in stock so get them while they last guys um, as I said in the description of the live, so I've just painted that one. I've painted another one black. We're going to be looking at mini tags today, but hang on a second until I can get our live up and so I can see it, so I can see your wonderful comments, okay? Make sure that's on silent. There we go. And let me know where you're tuning in from. Yes, here we go. Thank you, Holly, for sprinkling the love in Pennsylvania. Um, Yes, Christmas colors. Um, and you know, as I said in the description of the live, if you're a sign maker and you're a crafter, even if you love to give uh, gifts for, for Christmas, there's only, we're in the last quarter now. Well, actually, in Australia, where I am, it's the 1st of October today, guys. Woohoo! So I'm in the last quarter of the year. And as a shop owner and a booth, uh, I have a, a booth in an antique center. I want to be on top of things when it comes to, you know, Christmas crafts and providing customers with, just a second, um, with home decor that's Christmassy to decorate for Christmas. So even though it seems a little early to be talking about Christmas, it's not. When you're a, a sign maker and a crafter, you need to be getting on top of things and making Christmas things now. Now is the time. So I am excited that Essential Stencil they will be coming out with some Christmas new stencils soon, but they have restocked a bunch of the Christmas stencils from last year. So I'm going to be doing some of those today. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and for saying hello from all over the place, mostly from the USA. I'm from down under in Australia. We're a day ahead of you there. So it's October 1st here for me morning and uh, you're just finishing off September there. So I'm telling you, it's a lovely day, October 1st. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, yeah, so we're talking Christmassy things and Essential Stencil has restocked a lot of their items from last year. So if you missed out on getting some of those Christmas things like the stencil tags, the wooden tag sets, I'll be showing you some of the things to do with that today. Also, the deer head and buffalo check stencil. Did anyone grab a hold of that last year? So that's back in stock. Woohoo! So there's the deer head, as you can see, I've used mine a few times and it doesn't always come clean. So, and the buffalo check. So we'll be using buffalo check today on some mini tags and another sign, just because some people are kind of like intimidated by stenciling that. Look at all the little tiny grooves in there and how to kind of place it, all of that kind of thing. So we'll be doing that. All right, yes, some people have that. So I'll show you some things that you can do with that today. And the links for all of those are up in the description of the live and uh, Essential Stencil will pop some of those in as we go along. So first of all, I just wanted to show you also the mini tag set. If you haven't seen the wooden tags, they are just a pine wooden tag like so with a hole in the top. They come with the rope in there so you can string them up, hang them on your um, wherever, on your walls or wherever, or even gift decor. So some people have put them on um, jars or a wine bottle or something as a gift for Christmas. So you can use those for the mini tags or you can also just use cardstock to do any of these ideas that we are doing today. So the two sets that I've got here are the Tree Farm mini tag set and the Deer mini tag set. So those are the two Christmassy ones and you'll find I think I put the links for those in the description up there in the live. Yeah, love buffalo checks. <laughs> so many people are saying. Yeah, Kim said, good point. I have the buffalo check and I'm not sure how to use them. See, that's why we're here today showing you these things. There are also some other videos that we've made 
over the years in the video section of Essential Stencils page. So you'll be able to find those by clicking on the video tab on the page and you can go there and have a look uh, for different Ambassador Lives. There is even a Christmassy themed uh, playlist in there in the video section. So there you go. All right, so if, if I'm glancing down here, it's just to see the comments as they scroll up for us. Um, I think I will use that. That. Okay, so I've got a one mini tag painted in black. I've got one painted in red. I also wanted to have a little go at, so the buffalo check that I've got here is quite a large buffalo check. I don't know that it says exactly what the size of the check is. I mean, the whole stencil itself is 12 by 16 inches. And hey, we deal in centimetres over here, so I have no idea. Does anyone know? Maybe Essential Stencil can put in the comments what the size of the little squares are. I don't know. Is that two inches or three? Um, it's about half a finger. <laughs> it's about half a finger long. Oh, dear. All right, so I'm going to just do use uh, plain wood and just stencil straight onto that with the buffalo check for this first one. And I'll point you down here so we can have a little go and have a look. So, yes, Penny's saying practice, practice, practice. Absolutely, great idea. Uh, and offloading, offloading, offloading is the key. So, and I've also got a little uh, trial um, makeup wedge today. Remind me to use that if I forget because I really want to try using the uh, um, makeup sponges for something today. Maybe I'll try it right now with the buffalo check. And I'm going to be doing this one with the black. Okay, pointing you guys down here. And I'd love you to share this live if you have friends who are DIYers, crafters, who you know would love to watch. Here's our mini wood tag under here. Got those ones there. And this is going to go, you can either use it as, you know, just a buff, plain buffalo chick mini tag. So there's the option of putting that like this or making it sort of like a square of six and putting it on that way. I think I'm going to go with this look here so it kind of crosses the whole whole lot. Okay so what I was going to say was you could just do a completely buffalo check mini tag or you could use this as a background and add something on top like the deer head so we'll have a go at that in a minute. All right I'm just going to use some black chalk paint and a stencil brush now remember that offloading your brush is the key. So I'm actually going to, I've just got some black paint on a lid of a jar here. And then I offload it onto some paper. I'll do this where you can see on the camera. And I'm going to hold that really still because I don't want to tape here because we're on the tag. And I have to hold this really still. So usually I, go, I do a bit of a swirling motion. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of the swirling motion in these larger gaps where I have lots to fill. But where the stripes are, I'm going to do this kind of a following along the stripes kind of a motion, okay? And then swirling around where I am on the buffalo check there. Just now I'm going to fill my brush because I can see that it's just starting to get a little bit thinner in this area. So on we go again with that. And again up here. And I'll start with this top bit first and just going now, depending on which way you want to go, you can go either way. Oh, I was going to use the makeup sponges. Remind me to do it next time. <coughs> Christy's joining in late. What are we making? We are thinking Christmas thoughts already because if you're a crafter and a, and a shop booth owner and you want to, or even giving away Christmas gifts this year. Now, here's why we need to be ready for Christmas is because of this crazy weird year that we're in, <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be a lot more uh, postage happening in the postal. You know, people are going to be buying gifts online. People are going to want to ship gifts to their loved ones because they aren't able to quite visit just yet. So these are other reasons why we need to kind of get prepared a little earlier than usual this year especially. <clears throat> Carol's watching from West Tennessee. So Carol's saying she has a bit of trouble with bleeding on the buffalo check. So that's where you really want to 
make sure you've offloaded so much of that paint off the brush so that there's hardly anything left on there. So if I painted my hand here, see how there's hardly anything coming off the brush. But when I paint it on here, there's still quite a bit that's coming off the brush. Probably need to dip it now, but there we go. Just offloading that onto the paper. <clears throat> and I'm sort of going along the lines, so we're not going swirling too much. Carol, if you were having trouble with this, or anyone else who was just saying they've had trouble with the buffalo check. And this set that I'm using comes with the uh, huge deer head. It's a two-piece set, and that's available at the links there in the description of the live. Um, what kind of brush am I using? I'm using a stencil brush that we're actually trialling with Essential Stencil. So we're trying this one out. We, they're not available yet, but they're looking into finding out which are the best ones to use. And so they do varying sizes and things. So hopefully we'll have some good news soon and have some new stencil brushes to play with. Because I noticed our regular set of stencil brushes is out of stock on there. So. Um, as I mentioned before, these wooden tag sets, they were looking a little low on the inventory. If you're wanting those, I'd grab them quick. Um, especially for Christmas tags and Christmas gifts, these are such a fabulous idea. Order some of those with your Christmas stencils. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I can see that there's a little variation in the colour shading and everything, but that's my rustic vintage farmhousey look that I love. Okay, so just going to lift that up now and you can see that it's pretty sharp. There's not any bleeding under of the um, stripes or anything like that. And the key things to not get that bleed under, there was two things, really offloading your brush as much as you can on the paper and also going along the stripes versus going around and around like I normally do in these larger sections. Okay, so if you can catch that, that is a great tip. And practice, practice, practice on your pieces of paper, practice on your cardboard, things like that. All right, so let's have a look then, and I'll just wrap this in a little bit of a damp cloth. I got that from Melissa. She's a great one for tips. Some of the ambassadors have some great tips, so I'm just a good old copycat, and copy. when I hear a good thing, I'm like, I'm going for that. It's a great idea. So wrapping it in wet cloth so it doesn't dry out, because I probably will use that black in a minute. I'm just using an ordinary chalk paint today. This is an Aussie brand called, called Artisan Chalk Paint. Um, now let's see, with this black that I have here, I've painted this wooden tag in black. Now I will, you can do these double-sided. That's the fun thing about the Christmas, um, or any of the mini tag sets really, is you can do the other side. Let me just do, oh, should I do another buffalo check in the other direction? And I'll do it in white. I'm going to use a, a different section of it, so this one here. So see how I put this one this way? I'm going to use this in a different way and just kind of make it a little bit um, so that the line is coming down the centre rather than these two lines here. So that's how I'll place it on here. So you can see there's so many different ways to place your stencils and the buffalo check one, especially the patterned stencils, you can do all sorts of different combinations. So I'm just putting that line straight through the black wooden tag that I've painted black right here. And again, I'm not taping it down because the stencil's larger than the actual thing. Let's grab another stencil brush. This is one of the, the three quarter size in the essential stencil brushes. Um, and I'm looking for my white. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this white paint in a in a lid. And you need a tiny bit. Oh, Kim said, I worked on Christmas stuff in the garage this last week. Putting on Christmas music. See, that's the thing. Is it too early to put on Christmas music yet? I don't know. I love Christmas. So I would say it's never too early. But I don't think I could listen to it constantly all year. But yeah, um, it's, it seems like we're getting earlier and earlier for the Christmas music around here. And even putting up our Christmas tree. I don't know. When do you guys put up your tree? Let me know. I have a daughter whose birthday is in October, at the end of October. So we say we have to have that first before we put up a tree. All right, I've got the white here. Now this is going to be a little bit um, 
Oh, not so much. It's pretty. It's covering pretty well. I thought that it was going to because I'm doing it on a black surface that the white may not cover too well, but it's it's covering pretty well. Depending on the white, I think if you get those some of those really pure whites, crisp, clean whites, they may take a little bit more. You may even have to go over with a second coat. All right. So again, going along the stripes when we've got buffalo check, kind of I'm kind of pouncing and and. Uh, swooshing, I guess we'll call it. Sometimes I say smooshing, but we want to swoosh it along the lines. Holding this down again. Wiggling it even is a good idea to wiggle it along the line. I'm going to put that makeup sponge right here to remind me next time to use that because I want to have a go. Oh, Megan says my buffalo plaid was an epic fail. Well, that's why I'm here to try and give you some tips. It really does help to offload that brush so there's hardly anything on the end of the brush. It honestly looks like hardly anything there. So if you're having trouble with buffalo check and going along the lines like this, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And because you can always add more on if you've done, you know, if it's not enough and it's not enough coverage and you want more on, you can always do a second coat later. But if you have too much on your brush thinking, oh, I want it to be, you know, really a bold, strong color. If you have too much on your brush, you can risk bleeding that underneath the stencil. So here, see how the lines are going this way. I'm just swooshing my brush back and forth or just forth. <laughs> and see, I'm feeling like, oh, there's not enough on the brush, but I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want that to bleed under. So again, dipping it in the paint, rubbing it off, and just doing a little dab first, and then you can sort of work your way to a little bit harder. Those bits in the corner, I probably need a little push and a little wiggle. Oh, we come up with some lovely descriptive words. Okay, Annette says the day after Thanksgiving is a good day to put up your tree. Well, I agree, that's a good idea. See, because I'm in Australia, we don't, have Thanksgiving over here because we didn't have the pilgrims. That's an American tradition. So um, yeah, so I think maybe we tend to get into it a little bit early. I don't know. Um, oh, I've just moved my makeup sponge. All right, got to go down here. So we're just adding a little bit more, a little bit at a time. Rose says, a little difference. I still learned <laughs> something today. That's good. And Marlene's just received her plaid stencils, but she hasn't tried it yet. Yeah, so I'm really glad you guys are able to be here today to watch this demo. And if you've got any questions about using it, but really it's a, a matter of practicing. I'm just gonna turn this around without, oh, I did, I moved it. Oh, I moved it, but guys, no. No worries, as we'd say. If I can line that up without my glasses on. Okay. Here we go. I think I've got that lined up correctly. That's just a bit of, of a pain when you have to line it up again, especially these stripes. Okay, going back and forth. Ah, just holding that really still. I'm, what I was trying to do is just shift it so that you can actually see um, without my hand being in the way, but it's a bit hard when I've got to actually hold that bit down. Oh, hope I didn't have too much on my brush then. See, we all make little mistakes. There we go again. Oh, these large bits where the areas open, you can just kind of rub it around a bit. I find that rubbing it around in in little circles in those areas really evens out the paint. It doesn't get it so um, sparse and I'm going to do the same thing again. Ugh. And just this last bit here going along the stripes and again don't have enough on my brush. Wriggle it around, rub it all off, offloading as much as I can and then getting back in there. Yeah, guys, don't forget there's three winners today. We'll pick them at the end of the live. If you've never joined us before, it's a lot of fun here at Essential Stencil. Do lots of giveaways. Okay, so there we go. Not too bad. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of different because you can see that we've got the black here and the white here, uh, a little bit different to the way we set this one out. So with this one, we've got the two lines, you know, and a feature in the middle square, whereas this one, that line runs straight down the middle. So see how you can kind of vary the way that you're putting it, vary the way that you're putting the stencil. Okay, and this has just got plain wood background. Of course, we can create a different background like we have with this one and have a two-toned look on it. So I um, hope that gives you some ideas for using the buffalo plaid stencil. You can also, I've used it in another live um, by actually, actually we'll do that on this. That's what we'll do, Sharon. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so I might have to do one color first. So with the deer head, so this is in the mini tag set, which is the deer mini tag set. I'm going to use that over here. I'm also going to try it on a buffalo thing there. So, right, we'll start with the white that I just used. Cover that. And then I'm going to show you how you can put the buffalo chick over the top of a patterned or, you know, any other stencil shape. Some of those shape things that are large shapes, they, you can layer them with the buffalo chick. Okay, so I'm just wriggling the brush. I'm not actually brushing it under those edges. So we're just wriggling it, especially around the edges, to fill in those large spaces. And guys, I can't wait for you to actually see the Christmas, new Christmas stencils that will be coming out. And they did tell us, but Ruben might have to pop it in the comments somewhere when they'll be released or when they'll show you a sneak peek. But we had our ambassadors had a little sneak peek the other day, or yesterday, of some of the designs coming. Can't tell you anything, that's it. Zipping my lips, can't say any more. But there's some fantastic ideas there. Okay, so we've got our buffalo. No, we haven't got our buffalo, it's a deer. I was thinking buffalo check. All right, so that's the white, all crisp and lovely, right there on the red. So that really stands out, doesn't it? I love the white on the red. Now I'm gonna go over that and I might just clean off my cloth. I'm going to use my black, but I'll just clean off the stencil, sorry, with my cloth so that we don't get that white mixed in with the black. Because if you're not cleaning off your stencil and you're gonna use them straight away if that paint hasn't dried up, then you can get those edges um, coming off onto your other colour. All right, makeup sponge in hand. Guys, I'm gonna test this little makeup sponge out. Just gonna dry that off there with a towel. <coughs> yeah, the mini deer set is really cute. I'll let, I didn't show you what else was in that. If you missed this last year, there's the mini deer, there's Believe, and then there's merry and bright in this set. And look at the cute little grain sack stripes that are on the either end of that merry and bright. Wouldn't they be cute to even create Christmas gifts with, you know, make a little bow, put a little holly leaf in the middle. Oh, I might just try that. Great idea, I just came up with that then. <laughs> okay. Um, Rhonda's saying, how does Essentials brushes compare to yours? Well, these are from Essential Stencil and they are the ones who are trialing these. So they will make those available if they choose them um, sometime in the future, but we're just sort of testing things out now. All right, I should do this facing your way, just so you can see the deer head nicely there. I'm putting the stencil straight back over the deer head and now I'm gonna get the grab my buffalo check and I will be using the black paint and my black brush here. No, and my makeup sponge, let's try that. Guys, thanks for the reminder. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I've got to place this buffalo check so that it actually looks like buffalo check because it's quite a large check, but and it's probably not meant for the minis, but hey, I think it'll still look kind of cool. <coughs> let's place it around about here. So that we've got, so what's gonna come through is it's gonna be some black, some white deer. Okay, I've got my little makeup sponge, got my black paint. 
just going to dip it in there and even when you're using makeup sponges you want to offload so offloading that right here now what you're going to do I'm not going to be putting the paint over here because that's just that's pure stencil so it's not going to come through so I just look for the parts where the deer is and that's where I want to be stenciling Oh, lovely. So the makeup sponge actually works really nicely on the buffalo check because it's fine, you know, and you don't risk that brush coming through. So have a go with all sorts of different tools. Let's see which ones you like. So, so everyone has a different preference on what kind of things they like to use. But this has a nice dent, dense makeup wedge. Oh, I like that. There we go. Yeah, so Rhonda says she puts the buffalo check under the deer stencil. Yep, you can do that too. You could put the deer head straight over one of these that I've got here. So um, I'm just trying this different one for overlaying the buffalo check on top of other patterns. Trying to get right in, there's just two little tiny antler bits that I'm not sure I'm getting. And then over on this side, we've just got a little bit of an area where the, the rest of the deer head is in the antlers. And we'll see, you should see some stripes on there. But you can imagine with this on a much larger scale, with the larger deer head, it does look really nice. And I actually did that on a buffalo check cushion, which you'll find in the lives on right here on the Essential Stencil page in their video section. Uh, that should be in there. There's a Christmas playlist or just look under Sharon, Sharon Hankins from I Restore Stuff, my playlist as one of their ambassadors. You'll see that in there. Okay, I think I have all the areas, guys. And I do like that makeup sponge for this. That is great. So lifting that up now, we see both. where the, I see how I've gone just over the part where the deer is. Okay, so there is a little deer buffalo check. Cute, huh? All right, so let's try something else then. Getting a lot of fun, fun projects done today. So because this is chalk paint, I will seal that afterwards. But I like the way that turned out. <coughs> On this one. Oh, I'm not sure. I think the red should turn out nicely. Oh, both should. The red will really pop. I have a green here, but I'm not quite sure about the green um, standing out very well against some of these. So I may have to do a bit of white and then the green on this one. And I might try red with this one while I've got that. Oh, I do have a red. Maybe I can just do the makeup sponge again. That deer head. Oh no, we're going to do something else. We could do believe. I'm not sure how well the words will stand out against it. I do like, let's have a look at our other mini tag set. <coughs> and this one is the tree farm mini tag set. So it's, if you love the farmhouse kind of style, this is tree farm mini tag set. We've got the, oops, let me show you on a black card. We've got the farm fresh Christmas trees. We've got tree farm. And we've got the Merry Christmas with the truck. So it may be a bit busy if we use all of that, but we'll, let's just try it and see. Well, let's do tree. Hmm, that's got some stripes. Let's do the Merry Christmas truck. See how we go with that. Just in plain bright red. <coughs> and let's go with that makeup sponge again. I'm using the same sponge, but I'm just changing it to use it on a different corner. Yeah, there's a lot of you saying that you just got some of these sets. So I'm really glad they've restocked them at this time so that those of you who are crafting and want to get ahead for Christmas can get a good head start. Okay, so offloading that a little bit on your paper or on here. And uh, here we go. Just dabbing. And that's actually really fast. I'm liking this idea. <coughs> Might add a little bit more. I 
feel like it's a little bit translucent, so I'm not seeing. Um, okay. I'm not seeing it cover fully over the top of those stripes just yet. So it may need a second coat. We'll have a look and see how it turns out. Oops, I'm going to have to hold that down. You can see that pop up. It, the whole stencil lifted up when I shoved that down on top. In the truck. And um, I think it's probably, you may have seen me do this before, is actually putting white as a background underneath this when I'm doing things like a dark colour on a dark colour. So we'll just see how that red turns out. It's all a bit of fun and experiment. We've got a red tree going on here, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Non-traditional Christmas tree right now. It's a red tree sitting in the back of the truck. You can always go over the top of that with another colour or with some more white or something. So let's see. I can still see the stripes through there, so I feel like I would like to do a second coat on that. When it dries, uh, you may have trouble just getting another coat on that just yet, but let's have a look. <coughs> yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit dark on dark, isn't it? See how the the um, in the black it just kind of disappears a little bit. So it might have helped if I had the white definitely stands out. So it's a little bit of a trial and error and see how things go. But I think the deer head would have come out nicely on that just plain red on that black and white there. <clears throat> yeah, definitely you can um, offload the sponges as well on the paper or on wherever you need to. So to go over that, I think that I could go over that uh, red here with a little bit of white because it's in such a dark space and then do the red on top. So could turn out a little bit pink if I do it right away. Let's see, where's my white spun, uh, stencil brush? Give that a go. See if that might stand out more. So I'm just lining that up again. So this is why you practice your ideas and your designs on a piece of cardboard. So if I was practicing this one, I would paint the paint an area black, then do the white buffalo check like I've done on there, and then try your design on top just to see even what colours might suit. All right, I'm just gonna go over this truck. looks like a snow truck right now, snowed in. Why don't I just do that over everything? This is Sharon experimenting live on the Essential Stencil page, guys. <laughs> and sometimes when you just add a bit of white and then go over it with whatever colour you wanted, like I go over it with the red, it just will help to um, make that really stand out and Sort of, you see the white around the edges then, and it stands out a bit more. I am even going to try that with the words. Rubbing it off, offloading, and then wait for that to dry. While this is drying, I'm going to do this other one here with another design. Okay. So that's kind of added a bit of white, then I put the red on top and we'll see that stand out, but you're not gonna see that just yet. So we'll just rub this off as well. Make sure you clean off your stencils. <clears throat> Let's see, hello from Alaska. Joining from all over the world today. Anyone from Australia? Yeah, it is morning <laughs> and you guys are getting into the night. All right, so there's our all sort of wiped off, although it's got an old stencil bit on there that's there from last time. While that's drying and I'm going to do the red on top of that, let's try something on here, a bit different. Could try the merry and bright. I feel like that anything I do on there, where is my other stencil? It's gone. Oh, they're over here. <coughs> what about just a couple of Christmas trees? And instead of doing the Christmas trees there, I'll just go farm fresh and put the little trees in the center. Let's see if they even just fit in the center by themselves. How about that? There's an idea. 
Oops, that's the last of our tape. So I'm going to put a, they fit perfectly, I don't know if you can see that, right in that centre square. So there's little tiny trees. They're going to look great right there. I'm putting a tape over the hole and that'll also sort of hold that in place also. And another little bit of painter's tape just on the farm fresh. Oop, wriggling it around. Okay, so let's do green because we've got the green here and um, I'm using an olive leaf green. It's just an artisan chalk paint, which is an Australian brand. And a tiny little bit. Oh, I need another brush. Or maybe another makeup wedge. Have I got a spare? There we go. Got a spare wedge. All right, now offloading again our makeup sponge. Oh, that's not very bright. Might have to come over with a couple of layers of this also. Nice olivey trees. I love how they fit perfectly in the center of that. <laughs> it's like I planned it. All right, just try for another little coat. Yeah, it is a nice colour green. It's not the traditional bright green. It's just kind of a muted olive green. Okay, just adding a touch more there. You can always go over more when this is dry. Sometimes it's better to let it dry so that you're not pulling off the first layer of paint. But it's going into the natural wood there, so it should be soaking in, which is possibly why it kind of needs a second coat. Because these are pine, these little mini tags. There we go. Oh, you know what? That would look great with a little bit of snow on those trees. So showing up close, you can see that they are Christmas trees. So I think, you know, sometimes simple is best. And um, I've actually, let's see if I've got a little bit of, a little bit of snow on the end of my white brush here. Is that dry enough? Just trying to add a bit of snow to the top of my trees, just for a bit of, I don't know something <laughs> you can't you can barely see it but it sort of makes a little bit of a difference okay so that's that one having fun today watching all this we've got the buffalo pl plaid um, if you missed that earlier in the live definitely catch the replay if you're having trouble with using the buffalo plaid stencil um, now I used this one before and what I did was I did the red first and then we uh, did some white over the top only because I should have probably put a white layer underneath. So what I'm going to try now is to make that stand out by putting the red truck back on top. So now that I've got the white there, hopefully this red will stand out this time. I go to paint it. And stay tuned guys because you know that we are looking for some winners for our live giveaway at the end. And I have got my red paint here and again like we were mentioning before you still with the makeup wedges you still need to offload that a little bit and here we go with our words just dabbing and the makeup sponge actually dabs nice and evenly across the stencil so Guys, if you're on Instagram, just a reminder that Essential Stencil has an Instagram account too where you'll see lots of fun um, ideas, inspiration. So go check us out there. And I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff and you can find me on Instagram also, I Restore Stuff. And I do furniture painting, furniture makeovers. And um, also I mentioned in the description of the live, I do have a VIP club where I teach uh, people who are wanting to go from a hobby to a business. So there's a link for that if you're interested in that. And we were talking last night with my VIP club about how uh, I might do a green Christmas tree there, you know. 
Um, we were talking about how we need to be prepared for this next quarter coming up to Christmas. And I was saying in the beginning of our life here, if you're a maker, if you have a shop booth in an antique centre, or if you have a, you know, a decor or sign making store, or you're doing the markets, now is the time to be getting ready for your for this last quarter to take it home, ready for Christmas, because um, the postage and, and all of those kind of things this year especially is going to be, I think, a little bit slower. So people are wanting to order earlier for their Christmas. So yeah, we had a good discussion around that on my live Q&A last night in my private VIP group. Lots of great ideas coming around that. Okay, now I'm going to grab that green and do the trees with that. Ooh, this is a bit tricky. I should have uh, taped that off. Where's that tape gone? Now, if you want to know how to just kind of make that tape not so sticky, because I don't want my red paint coming off, put it on a bit of fabric. And I'm just going to hide those words there. So hopefully it won't, you know, it's not going to touch the paint too much. And I'm not going to be too worried if it gets on the truck, but here, let's just do that and see how we go. Oop. So just going for a little green on that tree, maybe a little more. Yep, so there's links up the top of the description of the live on where exactly you can go to get the essential stencils. And you can use my link, I restore stuff at essentialstencil.com and you'll get 10% off. Did I even mention that this live? I don't even think I did. 10% off using my code I Restore Stuff or any of the links that you use in the description of the live will take you straight there and get you that 10% off. Okay, so I think that is standing out a lot better than it was earlier when we just did red. So I would put sort of a base of white, especially on this dark bit, so that that red stands out a little bit more. It does stand out a little more because you can barely see that, but you can just see the white around the outside um, making that truck pop a little bit brighter and even the Merry Christmas is popping a little bit brighter. So then you can go ahead and decorate your tags with your ribbons and your bows and all that kind of thing. So remember the sets that we used today are the Buffalo Check and we're getting ready to pick our prize winners. So just a second. Um, oh, let me just pop it up here for a second. Here's the wooden mini tags. So you can get those on the Essential Stencil site. And remember that they, there's limited number of those. So get in quick if you want to order those for gifts, for tags, for all the decor things. This is the Buffalo Check and Deer Head Stencil Set. So grab that on the Essential Stencil site. I've got the link for that up in the comments. And the mini tags, we use the two Christmas mini tag sets, but there's other mini tag sets there. Guys, go for it. These are great gift ideas. It's the tree farm mini tag set, and then there's the deer head mini tag set. So we are ready to pick our winners. Let me just see if Essential Stencil, I'll put my little glasses on here so I can see, and let's um, drum roll our winners here. Oh, someone says congrats all the winners. Here we go, I can see them. Audra, Audra, Susan, and Melissa. So Audra Major-Smith, Susan Dane Beck, and Melissa Jo Shepherd Snyder. You are our three winners for our Essential, Essential Stencil Live giveaway. Now, if you are watching the replay, don't forget to comment replay within 24 hours of watching our live here today, and you could have the chance of winning a stencil or a stencil set too from Essential Stencil. Now, those winners, you'll just need to email support at essentialstencil.com and you will be able to um, receive and tell them all your details, where to send it to, and you'll be able to get your prize there. So I am signing off from another amazing Essential Stencil Live. Get ready for Christmas, guys. If you want to be in my VIP group, the link is up in the top of the description of the live. Um, but yeah, all of those links, use my code I restore, I restore stuff at Essential Stencil's um, website for 10% off your order. And if you're in the Stencil of the Month Club or if you haven't joined yet, uh, use my code there as well because you get 50% off your first month, which is a really great deal. They have so many more stencil sets and extra things in the Stencil of the Month Club. Amazing. Um, see you at my blog, irisstorestuff.com or on Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, all of the places. would love to see you there. See you again next week, guys. Bye.